back to Bavaria, southern Germany, this is Kobler Farms. So, as you can see, we got the wonderful state flag going on here. We got this new mod, mod just about a week ago, and uh, I think this suits pretty well here. And uh, lots of detail going on, I like this. Yeah, so, as you saw on the... Uh, little montage or the intro just now uh, we got lots of things done and it's now beginning of October so it's 4th of the October and uh, we are getting really busy with the rest of the harvest so if we take a look first let's take a look right here first with the drone I would say so I extended these fields these fields field 52 uh, was it or three and the grass field 90 though so this is now they are combined and uh, this is extended and all the lime has been basically done and it's good to go for cultivating in and slurring and uh, what else was going on with that i don't think so so the silage is sold here the first bunker and as you can see we got a lot of money again and uh, also i sold the old silage from the uh, uh, beef cattle farm which was we got the, the new side, it is now ready to go and uh, the old one we are going to make some heat and gas for the commune. So uh, let's see about the money. What did we get? So we got uh, and two loads of milk is also sold. So there's a hundred thousand nearly from that and we got 82 thousand and one hundred thirty eight thousand and we have also more to come at midnight so I also took the uh, manure out of the cow barns and put that in or so so 
what else so yeah soil samples of uh, field 90 from there is done taken so that's we got the info from there and i also bought a new field so field seven is now ours so we went uh, about hundred thousand with the money wise i thought because this was the only field that was ready to go and all the rest has been harvested and other farms are done so i did buy this i thought that why, why the hell not and i think i'm gonna buy this field nine and maybe 20 next year i don't know but uh anyway we got it was um, 298,000 so and as you can see the soil is pretty good so we get a lot of barley out of that and obviously straw pellets so these fields are now we are finishing our harvest so field 7 field 13 14 15 are ready to go and also we got a lot of stuff to do today we gotta cultivate the uh, field three and five and we will get uh, to plant uh, planting or seeding there and that will be something interesting I will I promise you I will try a new thing but that will be probably on the it will be on the next episode we gotta prep the fields first so and also this field and 52 we gotta bread spread that digest egg in so i don't actually know what we have right now but the uh, slurry tank and uh, the uh, carrier is full i filled them up to be ready so so they are and also we gotta put digest it on these fields so and uh, I was planning and uh, I am planning that we will just put grass now this year on these fields here and we are going to prep the uh, organic milk cow farm dairy farm so we are go going to put just grass on these fields and spread as much digested as we can so we are not going to use any chemical fertilizer out of on these and we'll make hay bales probably or hay pellets out of that and uh, i don't know i'm a little worried about the uh, bale count so we probably need to move the uh, move to the uh, pellet pellet feed I don't know we'll see how that goes but anyway that will be organic so why we are here we are getting as you can see the moisture on the ground is uh, too high now so we are getting uh, our gear ready and we are going to lease Delta again we don't need the uh, ideal right now for those small fields so we are going to lease this guy here and uh, I don't know do I go with the I think this has tracks we got tracks if I remember correctly I don't I can't remember do we have tracks on the idea but ah, why the hell not let's try let's try it how is it so 15,000 there okay and then we need the header for that guy and it's over here and it's about 10 meters I think 10.7 yeah, so that's good we'll take that thank you and we need the uh, 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 trailer 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 for that and I think we can manage with the uh, Hmm. 24. I don't know. I don't know. Is it? Is it enough? Hmm. But we're going to use the uh, van to get that. I think I'm going with a little bit on the safe side. Let's go with this. Massive. 
all right and leave that okay so auger wagon that will be here here and as you can see <laughs> let's take crawl tax yeah so uh, we are getting high on that slot count ah uh, we will we will manage so because of the uh, pellets we need to get again the pelletizer and we are gonna get nice money out of that this will pay itself back pretty quickly i think so it's a lot but we gotta do it we gotta do it you can do manually thank you least that guy all right so we're spending we're spending but you gotta spend to get some money that's the deal and then we need actually a another trailer at least the trailer for the uh, silage as you as you saw and it worked pretty good good 50,000 uh, 51,000 liter and uh, this this trailer but at least I can customize it so uh, this trailer has uh, also other configurations so I think we are going to I think we're going to get the uh, grain body work yeah we're gonna get that so 37 so that's pretty good with the uh, pellets and with the tires i'm gonna go again the michelin and we're gonna go as low as we can you know like so these are the lowest ones so we will list another trail of this kind and this trailer has a little trick on its sleeve so you can actually actually uh, change the angle from the menu so you can put it uh, to open for uh, when it dumps you can change the angle so with 10 degrees I think 20 35 and 45 it's all up there so it's easier to dump the pellets on the uh, on the cell point to just uh, make it a little bit uh, less less high yeah so i think this is all the stuff i believe that we need mm, yeah yeah that's it and the truck is over over the farm ready to go so i will get this to the field and i think we're gonna start from that field seven yeah all right i'll see you a little bit later all right so here's the last part of the pack of the puzzle so the yoga wagon i took the new our oh, new tractor tractor to use this guy and um, let's just go here between these and leave it just here all right so the crop what was it there yeah, 26 tw uh, 76 26 yeah so the crop moisture let's see what we have here 20 all right so we are actually pretty much going i think uh, i think in an hour we could be ready so let's just jump here and meanwhile we will go into the Voltra and as you can see 5.8 hours so we have 2.2 still to go with the demo so we will use this for now until that point and uh, I am still struggling with this uh, tractor issue because uh, the 7626 isn't enough so we have we have three three equipment that we need 400 horsepower for so those are plow 
the cultivator and obviously the pellet pelletizer. It, it struggles a little bit on these heel heely parts. So yeah, that's the that's the thing. We need we need a, one more bigger tractor with, and uh, I think we're gonna record uh, taking note of the slots that were really high. So I I will probably or it's best to get uh, another 8740 so we only spend uh, two slots on that or one so uh, first of all let's take a look of this this there's something weird happened happened here i have done uh, when i before i bought this field 50 then i made few contracts on this so there's, there's this little part with the nitrogen which has a zero to 20 kilograms per hectare nitrogen so i don't know what's going on with this but i'm i'm not going to touch this part and i'm not going to touch this part we're going to just spray spray a little bit more when the crops have been planted there and uh, field 19 i'm not going to put any any uh nitrogen on that because we are going to try the soybeans and the, the planting window is, is a little little concern, but we're gonna test it. So obviously we could be ready to harvest now. Today is the first day, so I'm not sure how the temperature goes on the, on the soil with the soybeans, but we'll see how it goes. But we could have plenty of, uh, if we have only one or two fields of soybean, then we would, would probably be okay to to harvest them but uh, yeah that's the thing so all right so uh, we will start with this we can take those beacons off let's lower that and put it on hold up let's just check one more thing that we have automatic application rate yes we do wonderful so let's go back there lower it down and here we go up and i'm going everywhere with this already yeah so what else is going on yeah uh, probably some of you know i've, I've uh, have these uh, issues with my depression I, and I'm be struggling with that for a little bit but uh, it's a pretty nice thing uh, the reason why I haven't uh, done videos for a week I was in the in my first longer um, uh, this uh, therapy session and it was pretty helpful and uh, pretty pretty good thing so I'm happy that I, I was able to go there and it was pretty, everything seems to be okay now. So that's a good thing. And um, also what else is going on with me? So yeah, that's prob <laughs> probably it, but uh, things are going pretty good. So I'm I'm really glad in Finland we don't have to pay for you know for the uh, basically pay anything or little bit if you spent the night on the or, or some kind of uh, customer service fee but it's uh, about if you spend the time in uh, hospitals and things like that so you have to pay about uh, it depends from where you're from but it's around here where I'm from it's about 47 euros per night so not not that much <laughs> if you compare to other countries so we got this pretty darn good health system here and all the medicine are also pretty cheap so I'm really glad of that and uh, it takes time to get help sometimes when you need it especially for depression and things like that but uh, yeah it's pretty good because it's autumn is coming and <laughs> the light daylight in here it's uh, not not that great so uh, 
autumns and early winters uh, have been really hard for me but uh, it's good. Uh, the timing was perfect with this uh, therapy thing so everything is good, doing good so uh, I will continue with this gladly we have the uh, digested right over there so we don't have to drive all around the map and uh, we will just wait wait for the crops to dry enough and then we move to the harvester and get things going over there <laughs> all right so that was pretty quick so <laughs> we got already we got already try enough crops here so oh yeah but how can we do it i think we need to go a little bit on the neighbor's field but let's drive the truck a little bit further and get that header yeah over here is pretty good yeah, this delta is a pretty nice, pretty nice harvester. I like this. I used it uh, at, you know, when when I started this series, so I used it then, and it worked pretty well. Well, but we got so much land now that I think we need to go with the. Uh, well, I will pack it up later. For me. We will go with the idea. I think when we got. Uh, pretty much uh, a lot of fields to harvest so let's take a look here again with the header lower that down just uh, oh we need to unfold the uh, harvester obviously adjust it a little bit the real maybe there's a good thing yeah bodies and uh, here we go we will just take the Headlands first, lift that a little bit. Up, up, up. Oh, we got a lot of straw here. Okay, so I will do the headlands and then we will uh, put the worker here again and start uh, start uh, harvesting this field and the other fields also we need to get the crops out of the ground as soon as possible and let's take a look for the weather forecast yeah okay so tomorrow is pretty good but ah uh, then it's two uh, two days of rain one sunshine one rain so that's why the long season is good this is i like the realism on that but you know you don't hang on one thread and lose your crops so it's a little bit time consuming but uh, more real more real this is a simulator okay so I I will continue with this doing the headlands and uh, let's get to our another job after that Alright guys, so Harvester is now doing his thing on the field 7, so we have a little bit of time before that field is ready to be pelletized, making pellets out of the straw and he has a full grain tank now, but he can wait a while, so meanwhile just clean this guy up and uh, oh, we got the door open hopefully it went <laughs> hopefully it didn't c 
got wet. This is uh, pretty awkward. <laughs> uh, how do I close it? Like so. Alright. So, yeah, the tractor situation because this guy needs 400 horsepower and uh, also that our cultivator here. And uh, so, probably next year we are absolutely in a hurry and I don't know what to do with this maybe maybe I'll just get get three of these 8700 on this field work and and uh, at the same time just save on the slot count and I don't know we'll see how that goes but anyway we got to hurry up with this so we can we can st start planting that winter crops on the ground also let's get those big guns on yeah I think I'll start from that field tree and uh, oh this guy needs fuel and maintenance also yeah and it has already 30 hours on it but I don't know maybe we can just do that field before we fill up yeah yeah I think so maybe we can manage it yeah so this is a little bounce bouncing around I also got the slurry uh, spreader filled up and he's continuing there and and all is progressing we have lots of work to do I like this these big masses because they <laughs> go you know 50 58 kilometers per hour so this it's quite nice I don't know, maybe I feel the speed on this narrow <laughs> road or something. No cars, okay, that's good. Yeah, so um, I think I will, so I, as you remember, I combined these two wheels together, so this is quite a big field now so I think we will uh, I think we will put wheat on it but uh, I'll have to decide when uh, when I take a look of the crop rotation what's happening on this these fields because the two fields are two different crops so yeah I don't know does it really matter all right so I'll do the headlands here and put the worker in and I'll jump around like House of Pain, Pain said, so I jump around a little bit and uh, uh, I think I'll see you when we start to get the, uh, you know, the um, pelletizer from the store and this tractor has to be using that because of the horsepower, so see you a little bit later again. Okay guys, so it's already 7 o'clock in the evening and uh, we didn't manage to get the pelletizing pelletizing on the field 7 but uh, I'm just fixing here the headlands that uh, we left here and little bits and pieces around the poles electric poles on the field so which uh, the worker could have handled but um, yeah so I think uh, it's on the ne next episode how much we are able to get from the field 7 the pellets we got about 100,000 liters of barley out of that it was pretty precise and also the field 52 and 53 have been spread with the um, digested so I think on the next episode we will see 
something interesting and different which I'm gonna try which have I haven't tried before with the seeding and I hope you that uh, I'll see you on that one thanks for watching this and uh, hopefully see you later bye bye